North Star community, it's Jill Broderick from fourth grade, and I'm here to help you log on to your student's my.aps.edu website. Every student in APS has access to this. Um, all you have to know is their student ID number and their password. So let me show you how to get here. Um, you're going to go into your web browser and type in my.aps.edu. And when you click enter, you're going to be linked up to a page that looks like this, my.aps.edu. You are going to go into this first box for their student username and type in their student ID. If you do not know your student's ID number, contact your student teacher um, for your student, and they'll be able to help you with that number. I know a lot of the older kids have it memorized, um, but a lot of the younger kids might not have that memorized yet. When you get to the password section, there are a few tips to help you remember your student's password. So um, you're going to write their initials first, lowercase. So if my student's name is John Jones, I'm going to type in JJ, and then I'm going to type in a period, and then um, we're going to put in their student birthday, month, day, and year. So if John Jones was born on September 14th, 2010, say, um, I'm going to put in 09 for the month of September, because it's the ninth month. Then I'm going to put a 14 for the day. And then for the year, you simply put the last two digits of the year. So it would just be 10. So this is the password for John Jones that was born on September 14th, 2010. So I'll go simply into the password and type JJ.091410 and then click sign in. When you sign in, this is what your student's screen will look something like. This is my own personal child's account, so this is what a student account will look like. There are some really great features on here that you will want your student to be able to access. For example, the Google Chat feature, or Google, not Google Chat, Google Meet feature is where you're going to be meeting with um, a lot of your classes. Um, students may be going onto Google Classroom to get different assignments, or they may need to get into Seesaw. If they need to get into Seesaw, they can click on Student Resources, and then there's a link to the Seesaw account there within Student Resources. Other things you might want to know about that's on this um, are the library services. Library Services has access to Britannica School, which is an online encyclopedia. Also, um, Mac and Via, which is a website that has lots of books that students can read online or listen to. So I hope that's helpful for you and helping you get into your students' my.aps.edu account.